Thank you, Judith. Excuse me, our, um, our story of the evening is a good old-fashioned copper by Andrew Stevenson. Andrew Stevenson lives in Nailsworth, where he's slowly writing a novel. He's reading at Stroud short stories for a record-breaking fourth time. Some years ago, when he was a documentary maker, he found himself alone in a hospital mortuary with a dead body, minus half its skull. It inspired the story he's about to read. Please welcome, reading a good old-fashioned copy, Andrew Stevens. good old-fashioned copper. It was going to be a tough case. I've been working all night. No breaks, no leads, no ideas. Just a body, a body on a cold steel slab. Maybe forensics would have something. Maybe. I wasn't expecting much. I don't hold with forensics. They're the ones who get all the glory in those TV series instead of the good old-fashioned coppers. I pushed open the door to the morgue with my foot and yelled at the pathologist, what have you got for me? Dr. Axelby picked up his skull chisel. Male, 28 years old. He pointed to the left forearm of the body. A tiny puncture mark just here. Died at 3.47 and 9 seconds yesterday afternoon. Axel be prized off the top of the skull with a neat flick of the chisel. Can you tell me anything about the murderer? I doubt if he could. It's not forensics, but good old-fashioned police work that gets the job done. I've run a few tests. Axel be put down the skull chisel and picked up a printout for his computer. I don't hold with computers, but he was keen and I was willing to humour him. The murderer is male, 37 years and 26 days old. Sagittarius. <laughs> He's wearing a dark blue woolen cashmere blend suit from Hardy Amos of 14 Savile Row, sold to him by Peter. <laughs> the suit worn over white boxer shorts with navy dots is complemented by a blue tie with muted yellow stripes, red socks, and black Oxford brogues by Loke. He banks with HSBC, <laughs> likes progressive rock music, and supports Arsenal. Is that all? I was getting impatient with that to me. <laughs> he is at present walking in a northeasterly direction through Hyde Park. In 21 minutes and 17 seconds, he will enter the kitchenware department in the basement of John Lewis at 278 to 306 Oxford Street. Here he will buy a one and a half litre capacity Russell Hobbs kettle and a Morphin Richard steam iron in white with purple trim. What colour will the kettle be? He hasn't decided yet, but I'm betting on cobalt blue. It was conjecture, but I let it pass. <laughs> Anything else? Axelby removed the brain from the skull and slid it carefully into a stainless steel dish. John Lewis is experiencing a problem with the debit cards of HSBC customers due to a fall caused by Jason in IT, who was kept awake all night by noisy neighbours. The fall will delay your man for a further 9 minutes and 43 seconds. During this time, he will browse the food processors, which are located at the foot of the down escalator from the ground floor. To the right or to the left? <laughs> Six feet exactly to the right. We work in metric these days. I spoke softly. Axelby was new and needed encouragement. <laughs> the distance from the escalator to the food processor stand is 1.82 meters. Axelby opened a freezer box suitable for brains, hearts, and livers. I can give you more decimal points if you need them. I shook my head. I didn't need them. I don't hold with decimal points. 
I would rely on my good old fashioned copper's intuition. Anthony picked up the rain. Oh, he said, and watch out for the slippery bit by the magic this morning. <laughs> I looked Anthony in the eye. I'm sure you'll do your best, but call me as soon as you've got anything I can use. <laughs> <laughs> I took the brain from him and squeezed it between my hands to test the damage. There was a compression injury he'd missed. I told him to pull his socks up. He might be new, but I'd made enough allowances for one day. I reminded Axelby that it wasn't forensics, but good old-fashioned police work that would get the job done. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not this week. Maybe not next. But that's what good old-fashioned police work is. A lot of maybes. However long it took, I was going to get my man. If it was a man, maybe it was a woman. There you are, you see. Another maybe. I threw the brain back to Axelby. As I said, it was going to be a tough case. And with Axelby's skull chisel piercing the skin of my neck, it had just got tougher. <laughs>